Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center in our capital city with Eva Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so today we're talking gravity. Yes. Okay, um, it's very important. Very, very important. Yeah, yeah. Um, we both have a gravitational pull. Um, you know, every object that has mass does, but it's invisible. And so um, sometimes those invisible forces are hard to conceptualize. Um, that's where this thing comes in. <laughs> we're going to conceptualize gravity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is just a, a way to help us uh, think about it. Um, this is just kind of stretchy fabric that we've put around this frame. Okay. And if we put objects in it, you'll notice it pulls the um, fabric down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's why we can conceptualize how much gravity um, this object or how big of a gravitational pull that object would have. Okay. So I take ping pong ball, which is a lot less mass, and like barely yeah. pulls it down. Exactly, yeah. But then if I take this big, this is like a <laughs> this Pilates toning ball, um, it has okay. a much bigger gravitational Absolutely. pull. Um, so this thing also can help us see and conceptualize how orbits work. Um, so it's no longer a toning ball, it is now the sun. The sun! <laughs> And we can take some of these objects, I have some more there if you like, and we can see these really cool, and you can even see them starting to become elliptical mm -hmm. orbits. Um, and the, the thing that's cool with these two, yeah, you can, we'll see the different how, um, if these balls going around have different masses, they're gonna orbit differently because mm -hmm. the gravitational pulls are different. And then as they get closer, they're gonna get faster too. Distance plays into gravitational pulls. Um, but this is how, we stay on the Earth, <laughs> and it's also how our planet stays in its orbit in the solar system. So it works over many different scales. Very cool. Yeah. Great conceptualization. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so uh, very cool. Lots of things happen here at the Science Center. Mm -hmm. Um, hands-on stuff like this, all the interactive exhibits, the traveling exhibition space. A great way to come, of course, experience all of this mm. is through a membership. Yeah. And there's a special right now. Yes. So this is our best sale of the year on memberships. They are 25% off. Okay. Um, you can get that online with the code HOLIDAY25, but it's over at the end of the month. Okay. So good time to get it is, is now. <laughs> Tis the season. Tis the season. For the season of science. Yeah. Get that membership. It's good for an entire year. Mm -hmm. And you can come check out all, like the traveling exhibition spaces, as those move in and out, those are included. You get reciprocals with other museums, um, access to member-only events. Okay. Um, you get a flat rate on parking. So there's a lot of benefits to, to that year-long membership. Also makes a really good gift. You know, tis the season there you for go. All right. gifts. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So ctsciencecenter.org is where you need to go. Yes. All right, Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.